Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, very well done to everybody who managed to enter the Jewels of Osiris, the brilliant Sudoku hunt by Demono with a whole story attached. Um, I think what we're going to have to do as well is put up on the channel, well, I, we're hoping at some point to put up solution videos, but we might have to put up a document that explains the transitions between the various parts of the hunt, which will enable anybody who didn't get to Act 2 or 3 or the epilogue to read the whole story. <laughs> it's quite good fun. Um, anyway, we will at some point have assembled a scroll of honour for the people who did complete it, and we'll run that probably at the end of a video at some point. But And we've we've still a winner to choose in terms of naming naming the staff involved in that hunt. Very well done if you completed it. Um, and very well done if you completed the, the kids' hunt, the Paint by Numbers Institute, um, which, yes, full of joy, that one, I shall say, um, and a lot easier. But that's still available on Patreon. There's no deadline or prize. Just give it a go. Um, now, what else have we got going on elsewhere? Well, Simon's done his Friday solve yesterday of a of a cryptic crossword puzzle, including reading out a text from me in the middle telling him who it was by, which is quite funny. Um, and we've also, of course, got all our apps. Do check them out on the links under the video, um, along with the link to Sven's Sudoku pad, now restored. It hasn't been there for a couple of my videos. Sorry about that. Um, and merchandise, etc. So you can check all of that out. The first link is to this wonderful colourful puzzle which came in from Dublin, Ireland. I'm not certain that we've featured a puzzle by an Irish setter, which sounds more like a dog actually, by an Irish constructor before. Um, and Dublin is a city I know very well and uh, a town I love so well indeed. And um, yeah, I'm delighted that Looney, as he's called, and I know it's pronounced that way because I I went to a play called Dancing at Lunasa about 30 years ago by Brian Friel that was in the West End. And yeah, it was very moving, very interesting play. Um, but anyway, from that, I learned the word Lunasa, which I think, well, I say learnt. I know how to pronounce it. I think it's a festival rather than a place in... I want to say Old Ireland. I mean, maybe it's still celebrated in the in the country. I think that was the point of the play. Um, but yeah, it was a very, very evocative play. Anyway, um, so that is how I assume uh, Looney has come up with his pseudonym, which is excellent. The puzzle is called Honey Dipper. And it's his debut. And I'm delighted to feature it. And the rules are these. No, actually, just before I do that, I'm going to tell you a story about... I, I don't know how true this is. I wasn't at the World Sudoku Championship, where apparently there was an Irish team in the early years of the World Sudoku Championship. And my understanding is the Irish team had managed to get a grant to form a team and enter the World Sudoku Championship, and had then travelled to it and had an extremely good time... Um, a very liquid good time at the WSC. There was an unsubstantiated rumour that one of them had completed a Sudoku in one of the rounds, but that was perhaps not true, but they definitely made an impact. Anyway, the rules of this puzzle are that the numbers one to nine must appear in every row, every column and every box. That is normal Sudoku rules. Um, now, we've got tons of green and purple lines. Digits on a green line must differ by at least five. So those two, this is neighbouring digits on a green line. They must differ by at least five. So those two could be one and six or one and nine. That would obey the rules, but they couldn't be two, six, for instance. The difference wouldn't be enough. Digits on a purple line must be consecutive in any order um, and may not repeat. Now, for these purposes, we can assume this is a single purple line. That's five digits, which form a, a consecutive sequence, don't have any repeats, and these will be four such digits, and so on. And that is the normal Renban rules. So the purple lines are called Renbans, the green lines are called German Whispers. Um, digits separated by a white dot, we only get one of those, have a difference of one. And digits in a cage 
sum to the digit in the top left corner. So those digits add up to 18. They also can't have any repeats, the digits in a cage. So normal killer Renban and German whisper rules, if you like. So an intriguing mix of rules. Good grid coverage with lines, but they're different lines. And uh, this won't be good if you're purple green color blind, but I haven't heard of anyone who is yet. So hopefully that won't be a problem. I am gonna give this a try. Let's get cracking. So, I mean, there's quite a lot here, so finding where to get started might be the difficult thing. Maybe picking a green line that has... Okay, I'm going to tell you the three things I know about German whisper lines. One is they never have five on them because there is no Sudoku digit it can neighbor. The second is that they must alternate between digits higher than five and digits lower than five and that enables this difference of five or more to be maintained. So I don't know which of these, yellow or red, is high or low, but I know that they must be consistent within those colors. The third thing is that four and six are sometimes quite difficult to place on green lines because there's only one potential neighbor. On the other hand, all of these lines are diagonal, and that makes it a lot easier to get four and six onto them. Like This could easily be a four surrounded by nines in those cells. So that might not be the most helpful bit of lore about German whispers in this puzzle. And the coloring I've done doesn't really seem all that helpful to me. Certainly getting nowhere near creating the maximum of four of one color in any row, column or box. Even those two cells in the 18 cage, they could add up to anywhere between 7 and 13, which doesn't really tell us anything about these. Maybe this is the line I should have colored. So let's go green and purple on that one. I'm trying to avoid orange and blue because I eventually want to color high digits orange and low digits blue, but I don't know which is high and which is low yet. Ah, okay, there's three purples in the central row at least but that doesn't decide what that is or what that is. Is there a reason these have to be the same color? No, I don't think so. This isn't being very helpful. That pair, again, must be one high and one low, so somewhere between seven and 13, but 18 is not a good cage total. Ah, the 25 cage has two of these pairs on it which must therefore add up to somewhere between 14 and 26 between them. That's not very helpful either. That hasn't narrowed this digit down at all. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'd been... Something... Uh, wow, there's so much coverage in the cage, I hadn't realised this was really important. Sorry, there's so much coverage of the, of the whole Sudoku grid by lines that I hadn't realised how helpful a five cell, I hadn't seen we had a five cell 16 cage. That is very helpful. Yes, I'm going to get a, fifth, a 16 cage must contain one, two, three, four, six. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. One of these two digits is high because it's on a green, they're on a green line neighboring each other. The high one must be a six. The low one must therefore be a 1, and that's become a 1-6, oh, I lost the colouring there. That's become a 1-6 pair. Now, 1 and 6 can't be in these other cells, and this one, this yellow cell, is now low. So yellow becomes blue. Red becomes orange for high. This, uh, I didn't get that right, did I? Take out the red. There we go. This one can't be a 1, well, we've had 1 in the box, so... It's seven, eight, or nine. That means this, no, it doesn't mean anything for that. This one is on a whisper line. And that's low, but it's a tiny whisper line, so I only get that this is high. Oh, this is the same as those purples. That's low, let's just think about this. There must be a five on a five cell Renban. Don't know. Quite what to do with that. Um, these can be different, I think. I, uh, there's no problem with that. 
I mean, five's in one of these three cells, but it's not really telling me anything. Um, what next? I need to find out what green and purple are somehow. Ooh, if purple was blue, that would be four blues in this column. Don't know how to use that. Oh, this can't be a six. Sorry, I should have spotted this immediately. This green cell can't be a six because both of those on green lines would have to be one and that's impossible. So this is a one. Right, green has become blue. Now we've only got two colours because purple has become orange. Now I want to stick with this colour scheme. Might have to do the rest of the puzzle given how much of it is... German Whispers, and even the Renban lines. Oh, you see, this is interesting. These are different colours on the same Renban line. And that means one of them's low and one of them's high, and that means that five has to be on the Renban line to form a bridge between the low digits on the line, even if there's only one, and the high digits on the line, even if there's only one. They have to be bridged by a five, and five can never be on a green cell, which I said, or a green line, which I said earlier. So that becomes a five. So one of those is a five. And one of these, not the one on the whisper line, one of those two. Now that's, this can't be two anymore because you can't get three lows onto this line. This, what's this? It's either three or four or six or seven. Ooh, and that's on a whisper line, connecting to either 8 or 9 or 1 or 2. Now, what about this pair? Somewhere between... Yeah, no, I decided earlier on that wasn't helpful. Maybe it gets more helpful... Oh, look, I've got four blues in this column. That's a 1. On the Ren band, that's a 2. That's a nice Ren band. 2-cell Ren band, normally not all that helpful, but that one... What am I talking about? I said that was a one. It's looking at a one. I thought that was a two, three, four, triple. I'm so sorry. This is not one. This is two, three, or four. Bother. And now you see how unhelpful that two cell Renban is. I can't even color this because it could be a five. So that's seven, eight, or nine because it can't be a six anymore. Does that affect... Oh, it does affect this. These have to add up to at least seven. Six and one is the minimum for two cells neighboring each other on a green line. That minimum, it takes it up to 14. So the maximum for this cell is four. And that means I know it's color. Um, I don't know if that helps, annoyingly, but... Oh, come on. What else um, is going on? This is a six. I don't know why I haven't filled that in. These are from seven, eight, nine. This isn't a one, this is two, three, or four. Now, what's going on on this line? Renban with a two, three, or four. Either these are both low, or they could involve five. Oh, that's really weird. Is this, I think this has to be four. I'm not sure. Am I misunderstand? No, I am misunderstanding that. This could be a one, two, three line. Bother. Well, this can't be a one, two. Oh, it could be a one, two pair. I don't know whether this is high or low. Okay, forget what I was thinking about there. Let's focus on something else. I need more. Oh, look, I've got. Well, that's impossible. No, that is... No, I've got low connecting to high. That is fine. This is eight or nine. Sorry, I thought that was a purple line for a moment. Now I'm really... My brain is getting addled with these lines. I have to keep focusing on what is... Right, this can't be nine or eight, can it? Because of the Renban line it's on. Ah, oh, that's a seven. That's a four. That's a six. Oh, we're in business now. Those are high... That's low, it's one or two. This is now a nine uh, to be next to a four. That sees nine and seven, that's eight. 
This can't be four. These can't be four. They're a two, three pair. Seven sees that cell. Now, what are those two, three seeing? That doesn't have to be low yet. We haven't established colors on this top left green line. This one is one, two, or th no, one or two, because it's touching a seven. Oh, I was about to panic because I had seven touching a four. That's on a purple line. That's fine. Oh, I hope I don't. I hope I haven't already made a line color mistake that has carried on the logic. Ooh, that's interesting. If these are both low, this is now low. If these are both low, they can't be one, two. But that doesn't mean it can't be a one, two, three line. I've, I've misunderstood that. That's very annoying. So, well, not very annoying. I knew that was coming actually earlier. So I should, I should be a bit easier on myself. Right, one of these two by Sudoku is a nine. But I don't think nine can be on this Renban line with a two or a three, and I'm right. Nine has to be here. That is on a whisper line, which doesn't limit the whisper line at all. These others are, that is seven or eight. That's a high digit. These include a high and a five. Now, we've got two or three on this Renban line. So surely we need four and five on it. And four must be in one of those two cells. Five could be in one of those two, or it could be here. And we couldn't put eight on it, for instance. Not very useful. This is fun. I like this. Now, oh, we've got an eight there. That was more than the minimum. So these are six and one at a minimum. So this is now three at a maximum. Um... And the two low digits here, I don't think they can be more than one and three. They must include a one. But more importantly, the high digit now is either six or seven. Yes, in an 18 cage, you can't have an eight and a nine. So is it a six here with a one there? It's more likely to be a seven. Oh, mo oh, hang on, hang on. Six is in one of those cells in the central box. Hadn't seen that coming. So it's in one of these two. And they are on a green line. So one of these two has to be a one touching them on a green line. Now, that one isn't a one. And I think we just worked out one is in this cage because it's either got eight, six on it needing a one, three, or eight, seven needing a one, two. So that isn't the one. And therefore, this isn't the six. And now we can fill in six and one. Much more importantly, we've got all the alternation of high-low done on this last green line. There we go. Um, and in fact, I can just add up this cage now. We've got 15 so far. That's a three. Uh, come on, what else? This is seven or nine. This is two or four. This is therefore seven, eight or nine. Ooh, what about this line? Can that be non-orange? It would have to be a five. And that would have to be a six. Bother. Okay, these add up to at least ten. These to at least seven. That has a maximum of eight. That is not the most interesting information. Uh, two, three, six. I'm looking across the middle row, not really getting anything out of that. Oh, this pair has an odd digit on it, this, this consecutive pair. And that odd digit is five or seven. Mm, I don't know. It's not that helpful. This is one or four by by colour, by Sudoku, because it sees a 2-3 pair and it's low. Now this is therefore 2 or 3, because it can't be 5, so that's also low. I feel like that's almost telling me something. 
And I never quite get what this red, this purple line's doing here. It's... I don't know. This could be five. No, this can't be five, because that would have to be six. And we've had the six, so that's orange. That's all four orange in this row. This can't be five, so it's blue. Now I can do a count up the middle. We've had four orange. That's blue. That is one or four. Because the two, three pair is looking at it. Um, this is one, two, or four. That's not very helpful. This one can't be four, because it sees that its two neighbours can see each other. Um, I'm missing something huge. I don't know what it is. Sorry. Two, three pair. What's this? This is low if it's touching two or three. And it's not four, so it's one, two, or three. This line? Don't know. It sees three high digits in the column. These are high and touching. They must include an eight. They're from seven, eight, nine. So this is seven or nine. That's a pair in this column. That's weird. So that gives me an eight here. That's a very odd way of getting to that. Now I've got a seven, nine pair looking at this high digit, six or eight. This one is six, seven or nine. It can't be a six because those two see each other. Uh, six, eight, seven, nine. Where does five go in one of those two cells? I want to be able to do something here. If that was a four, ooh, things get very constrained. If that was a four, this is a nine. That's an eight in the same cage. We're already up to 21. And this can't be low because it sees all four lows, so that doesn't work. This isn't a four, that's a one. It's on a Renban with a two. That's not a two. This is unknown. High digit, oh, that's become a four. This isn't a four. This one could be. Uh, it's always the Renbans that I'm just not as focused on or paying attention to. This digit, I mean, I reckon it can be five, six, or seven at the moment. Can't be eight or nine, and it's got to connect with those on a Renban. Um, this can't be four, so it's also five, six, or seven, because it has to be consecutive. So one of those is definitely a six. Six, one, three, eight, nine. Is, is it this Renban? What am I missing on this? It's a clever puzzle, this. It's very, very interesting. I, I suspect every step in it is really straightforward, but it's just finding which step comes next. And unfortunately, you don't get a walkthrough, you get a live solve, so I struggle sometimes. Um, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Anyway, stop waffling about that. Right. I still think this is very... This can't be a 1-2 pair. So, this Renban is at least 2-3-4. If it was 2-3-4... The 4 would be there. Oh, there is a 4 on this Renban. And it's got to be there. Look, yes, that's right. Because this can't be a 1, 2, 3 Renban, and now I'm wondering, yeah, I'm not wrong about that. That would have to be the 3, and this can't be a 1, 2 pair because of that cell. So this isn't a 1, 2, 3 Renban. Therefore, it's at least 2, 3, 4, and because it has a 3 or a 4 on it, it's at most 4, 5, 6. It's always got a 4 on it, and that's not in this box with the given 4. So that's a 4. Wow, that's quite complicated somehow. This could be 2, 3, 3, 5, or 5, 6. But that one can't be a 2, and this one can't be a 6. Oh, I, somehow it, doesn't, it hasn't resolved everything. I thought it was going to. 1, 2, 4. So in this row, we've got an 8 or a 9 and a 5 still to place. This cage, these, we now know what these are. They add up to 5. 
These add up to 20. That's become a 9 because of the 4 and the whisper rule. That's huge. Right, these two add up to 11. So they have to be 5 and 6. Yes. Right. And 6 is OK on the whisper. Good. That's become an 8. 3, 7 and 9 to place in the box. Now, on this Renban, that's not a 6, but this white dot has a 6, so it's there. This is 5 or 7. This can't be... 9 anymore. It could still be 8. But that means this can't be 4. Once that can't be 9, that's right. This is a 2. Um, that hasn't fixed either of these. This isn't a 2. But there is a 2 on this Renban, because there's got to be an even digit on a 2-cell Renban. So that's there. Now by Sudoku, this becomes a 2. That makes this a 1. which doesn't help anything. Let's do the colouring, just in case colouring sometime somehow triggers a thought. Um, that is 5 or 7, and 4 in this row is now here, on the Renban and being low. So there is a 5 in one of those two cells, and the other one is from 2, 3, or 7. So those two are both odd, which is weird. Is that weird? No, not really. Um, in this box, we've got five, seven, and eight to place. Now, what about the central box? We don't know what that digit is based on the whisper. We don't know what that is. We don't know what that is based on the Renban. Some, somewhere somebody knows what something is and they're not telling me. If you're shouting, just shout a bit louder. Um, seven is in one of those two cells. Is there a whisper thing that I'm missing somewhere? There's not... I haven't got much done on this whisper line. Oh, the cage total. 14 plus 1 and 3. Ah, oh, simples. That's all the cage is finished. I've just oh, and that two three is actually resolved now. Right, ah, two on this Renban. Yes, I can finish it. Three and five. That's blue. That makes this a one. Very close now to having all of the colours in the grid. Sorry, I'm trying to take out five from there. Nine, seven, six, eight, and that's a set. This is a naked five. It sees a one, two, three, four set in the box and nine, seven, six, eight in the column. So down at the bottom, we have a two, three, four triple, which is quite interesting because this digit connected on the Ren band to that one can't be a five. So I think it's got to be a one. That puts two on the Ren band, sorts out. I think I'm going to finish off all the low digits now. That's my plan. Uh, he says boldly, not knowing quite how to execute the plan. But they're all done here. I thought that was going to be... Oh, we've got the four there. That's been looking at this two since time immemorial. Just dull Sudoku. That's become a two. On the Renban, that becomes a three. They're both blue and low. Where's four in this box? Oh, it's there. I just never coloured it. Muppet Man. One of those is a four. Not a five, a four. Um, we need a four in this row. One of these two. That's a four, five pair. Still trying to focus on the low digits. We get a one there by Sudoku. Three in the top row in one of those two. Four in this box could be anywhere. Maybe I cannot. Oh, that's become a two in the middle box. One is in that cell. I was going to say one of two, but it became suddenly clear. Three, I don't know, one of those two. And just notice that's not a three. Three is definitely in one of these two in box four, so it's not there. So it is placed in box one. So I've just got some fours to sort out in blue. Okay, let's move over to orange somehow. 
3 can't be next to 7 on a whisper. Right, that might be helpful. That's become a 7. Those are definitely both orange, as is that. Uh, I don't really think the colouring's mattering for the solve anymore. I'm just doing it for completeness, to be honest. Oh, that 9 has fixed this 7 and 9. That fixes 7 at the top of the grid. That's a 5 now. This is a 4-9 pair, and I do know the order. And that 4 sorts out the 4-5 pair at the bottom. I can colour the 4s, and I can colour the 9. And I've got a 7-8 pair here, and that means I know where 4 is now. There we go. That's 9 in the top row. Uh, that's a 6-8 pair. They are all coloured orange. Um, in this row, I have a 6 and 7 to put in. They're both orange. These are both orange. And I don't know what they are. They are from 7, 8, 9. Right, that one's an 8. And that's fixed all the orange in the box. And that's going to fix all the orange in the puzzle, I believe. Because this becomes a 6. That does 8 and 6. Um, we need a 7 in this column. That's there. Then we need an 8. And that's here. That's a white 5. That's a white 5. Now, I've just got a set of deadlies. No, this is a seven now. That, it's not a deadly set because I've got three and nine. Right, they're done thanks to the nine. Ah, there we go. Okay, so a bit of colouring and then we can finish off, hopefully, he says, with a five here. And I think we're done. And we have danced with Looney. There we go. 26 minutes, 25 seconds. Excellent. That's a nice puzzle. That's got a lot going for it. And yeah, there's a bit of analysis paralysis at the beginning because you just can't work out where the good places to look are unless you're cleverer than I am and you spot this cage immediately. Great fun. Thank you, Looney, for set sending and setting that. And uh, absolute pleasure to solve it. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. And bye for now.